You are watching Windows 365 Masterclass. This is episode number 12. And in this episode, we are going to learn about how can you secure your cloud PC using MFA. We are going to use the Azure portal to enable MFA for Windows 365 service. You can access this by going into portal.azure.com. And let's go to Azure Active Directory. If you can't find it, all you have to do is search for Azure Active Directory here and select it. Make sure you have the right licenses. You need the minimum of Azure Active Directory Premium P1 license to use this particular service. Now, once you are within the Azure Active Directory on the left hand side under Manage, scroll down till you find Security and click on Security. Within Security, under Protect, click on Conditional Access. This is where you can create different policies to enable or support conditional access or MFA for certain applications. So let's click on create a new policy. First is to give a name for your policy. I'm going to name it as MFA for Windows 365 Cloud PCs. Here, the next step is to assign it to a user or a group. So let's click on user or a group. Before you enable this MFA for all of these users, I would encourage you to enable it for a subset of users. Collect the feedback, make sure everything is working as intended before you roll out widely within your organization. So I'm not going to select all users. I'm going to select a particular user. The right way of deploying this is to attach to a group rather than a user. Because this is a test scenario, I'm going to pick a user. Let's pick um, Mackie. Before we do that, let's quickly go to our Intune portal. I just want to show you if this user have a cloud PC or not and what are the other prerequisites before testing it. So this is the Intune portal. You can click on um, devices. Let's first go to users. Select the user I just talked about, Mackie. And we need to make sure that if this user have the right license, go to the licensing tab. You can see that this user have M365 E5. That means they have Azure AD P1 license so they can use MFA. More than that, uh, this user is assigned with a cloud PC. So now let's go to devices to see if this user have an active cloud PC. Go under all cloud PCs here. Let me quickly zoom out a little bit. Here, if you scroll down to the right, you can see that there is a cloud PC assigned for this user. So let's first quickly sign in as a user before I enable MFA for this user. Easier way to access the cloud PC is by going into the portal windows365.microsoft.com, log in as the user, provide the username and password and sign in. After that, you would be able to see the cloud PC tab assigned for this user. So let me quickly zoom out. So there are two cloud PCs assigned for this user, one frontline and one enterprise. So I'm going to click quickly connect to the enterprise one. Just accept the default and click on continue. And I have signed in to this user account. So I can access the cloud PC without being prompted for any additional um, verification. Let's continue with the MFA configuration. I'm going to go back to the Azure portal. Let's select this user. Click on select. Now under target resources, click on target resources. Here, select cloud apps. Under cloud apps, click on selected apps. Under that, click on select. And we are going to search for Windows 365 and select the Windows 365 service. Click on select. Next, if you scroll down, click on grant. So we don't have any controls at the moment. So click on grant. Here, we are anyway not blocking it. We are granting access. But at the same time, we want the user to go through a MFA prompt. So click on required MFA. We are not making any other changes. Click on select. Under enable policy, by default, it's report only. So we have to turn on. So click on turn on and click on create. So right now it is creating the MFA policy. Looks like the policy has been successfully created. Now let's go and uh, verify. I'm going to close the cloud PC and I'm going to sign out from the user. Let's sign in one more time. Let's go to windows365.microsoft.com. Provide the username, click next, provide the password, click on sign in. 
So now I got a notification that my organization need more information to keep my account secure. So because I have not enabled or gone through the MFA verification, I have to set up first. So click next. So first step is to use an app, which is the Microsoft Authenticator app. So click next and to set up the account, click next. I'm going to quickly scan the QR code using the Microsoft Authenticator and click next. All right, so I got a verification code on my Authenticator app. I'm going to just quickly verify it to complete the verification. All right, so it's successfully completed. Click next and click on done. And you can click on continue with the sign in. All right, so that was pretty easy. So now if I want to access the cloud PC, all I have to do is click on open in a browser, click continue and I am signed into my cloud PC without any issue. I'm going to quickly sign in one more time. This time we should not go through any verification process. This time it should only prompt for MFA and that should allow us to sign in. Quickly go to windows365.microsoft.com, provide the username, password, and we should get the prompt immediately. So I'm going to quickly put the code and confirm it and we should be able to sign into the service very simple very effective and very powerful so i hope you learned the step to enable multi-factor authentication for your windows 365 service i will see you on the next one take care